Hello Capricorn. Welcome to your January 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower Readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, Capricorns, what we will do here um, is we will divide the reading into sections so it is easier to understand and it obviously uh, gives you a bit more information anyway. <clears throat> so we will look at your overall energy for the months ahead. Before we will then look at your emotional core, see if there's love coming in, if there's trauma that can go now. <coughs> Before we finally look at opportunities, and opportunities for the most part will be about what sustains you financially, but because finances or money is not a spiritual currency, it also will be about um, reflecting on how do you really fit in to all these things emotionally and energetically speaking, and how much um, can your spiritual life or is your spiritual being um, affected by it all. That's what we do. Now, another change, uh, and I don't know if this will be a change uh, forever now or not, but this month <coughs> I am not using cards. I am using my Galaxy Balls, which are a bit of a newer addition to how I work. Um, obviously I do astrology, which is why you're here. <laughs> um, and then my guide thought I should probably um, look <coughs> at diff things differently so the galaxy balls came in and what they are is they're little crystal balls but they have little resins in it and the resin when i then move it about makes me see galaxies and so therefore i can i can see things in in these galaxies in these stars uh, and also it, it obviously connects me deeper to whatever sign i'm reading and for this purpose i have quite a number of galaxy balls now <coughs> <laughs> and, I mean, and I'm using two, or let's put it this way, I brought two to the readings. And because I'm not quite sure which one I'm using for Capricorn, I need to explain the two of you. Because sometimes I'm using one and then all of a sudden they say, like, no, 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 for this area, use the other one. So you need to be aware of what I have. Won't take a minute. I have two, two, two galaxy balls and this is the first one. So this is my dolphin one. Beautiful, eh? So, this one is about perception. Should I be using this one? <clears throat> the way you should listen and understand the messages is from where am I in the scheme of things? So you look at things from the here and now. Where am I right now? What am I doing right now? How does this all relate to my, my situation in the moment, right? So this is all about perception. How do you put this all together? Where are you in the scheme of things? That's what the dolphins <clears throat> denote. So when I'm using, should I be using the dolphins? It's more about, um, well, the bigger picture, if that makes sense. And then the other one that I'm having is the dragon one. And the dragon galaxy ball is um, about your emotions within. The dragon is associated with the element of water, which is purity and renewal. But the dragon is also denoted or associated with the color gold. And therefore, gold is a conduit, is a connector. <coughs> so it's about seeing things from a more spiritual point of view, but internal point of view. So how you should then listen to the messages, should I be using this guy, is about what does that mean to me on a very, very, very personal level? Okay, so that's how these two work. <coughs> and now let's just see what the guides um, show me um, to use for your very reading. There is no right or wrong. It's just energy. Um, and I'm actually drawn to the dragon one for the sign of Capricorn. Now Capricorns, you are actually associated with three different animals. <laughs> so obviously um, Capricorn, you are depicted as the, the mountain goat. When your star sign came about, the star sign was named after sea goats. And then in Vedic uh, astrology, um, you, are, you are seen 
as the alligator. So you are associated and connected to very different animals. So therefore, even your depiction of being a mountain goat might not necessarily fit you. What that means for your sign Capricorns is that sometimes, no matter what you do, not everybody gets you. And you know what? Not everybody has to get you. In your case, it is really important to know that the, per the people you are very close to, the people that you really trust, are the only people that matter. right? And if you understand that you are likely not going to be the person that is in the eye of the storm, that is the person that, that is always the, the life of the party, you could be, but it is not necessarily who you truly are. So everything here... <clears throat> Um, already comes up in January to sort of pay attention to um, to things that are close by and to situations and people that you already are quite close to and not lose track of how important it is to have a few friends but friends that you can really trust and that trust you Okay, not quite sure where we're going with this, it's just what the guides just mentioned, so here we are. Capricorns, let's look at the overall energy for the month of January 2023 for your very sign. Okay, wow. Everything here is clustered and cluttered. Your job in January 2023 as the overall energy, your first, the, f the first thing you should be doing is to step back from everything and then see like, what the heck is this mess I'm in? Realizing that you are, you have clusters, which means there are um, areas of your life <clears throat> where there's entirely too much going on. And very likely you will have people come to you and they burden you with their stuff. And just because you like them doesn't mean it doesn't train your energy. That sort of thing is happening in, in, uh, to you <coughs> in your energy. And in January you are being asked to actually see how much, sounds wrong, maybe not, how much damage do these clusters of responsibilities, how much, how much, how, how much does it drain me to do everything there is to do because people are relentless. Your job in January is to step back and see like, okay, how come there's a million and one people that think I owe them something? I don't, right? Make space is the message for you in January 2022. Overall energy is detach yourself a little from situations. Don't do 25,000 things because you will be drained. Okay? So... Oh, let's look at the emotional core, see if there's love going on in, or, or, or maybe there's trauma that can go. <coughs> I'm seeing the need to release and look at things that you have carried with you for a long time. It feels to me as though you're still grieving for something. And it may not be just the grief um, that a mother has for her child, if that makes sense. It could be, but the point is, it doesn't necessarily feel that deep, right? It more feels like, you know, regrets, things that haven't quite happened, um, maybe things where you have been judged wrongly right there's also a bit of regret um, and and rejection in that energy the point is january will be a good month for you to look into how am i feeling right what makes me what makes me sad or if a memory comes up from way back when how come it still affects me because if it still affects you then obviously it hasn't been released and that's what i'm getting is is to pay attention to these niggles of sadness and should they come up you owe it to yourself to to if you can't do it yourself you know maybe find someone uh, near you um, 
who can help you with releasing stuff. You know, could be could be a soul retrieval, could be all sorts of things. Whatever you know, there are tons of therapies and massages even that help you deal with trauma. That's what I'm getting for you: is to not go it alone and trust yourself um, enough to realize, yeah, I deserve better and I deserve to feel better. So that's what's coming up uh, for you. This is all about trauma. And remember, these are general readings. They might not resonate with all of you. Um, just take it as it resonates, okay? <clears throat> and then lastly, we're looking at um, opportunities for the months of January 2023. Again, um, there's a lot of clusters and, and actually clutter here. <coughs> the only way your life can be more successful, if that's the term, is by you figuring out where you actually want to go, right? So you might be a person that has tons of skills um, and you might actually be a person that fits into many things. Um, but when many things come your way, you should go like, no, 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 I don't need many things. I have to figure out first, where am I? What is it I want to do? What is it I really want to do? And then only focus on these things. Because the energy here in the galaxy ball is everything here rises rapidly. <clears throat> And what that means is, once you make the connection where you realize that your happiness should override any opportunities that come your way just because they feel good or they pay well, right? How drained are you when you come home? Seems to be a theme here for you. Um, and opportunities, if you want opportunities, it's all about understanding that inside whatever it is you do, there should be enough space for you to breathe, right? That's all I got. <clears throat> and I see you all, Capricorn, I see you all next month. Please like, subscribe and share. And like I said, if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Much appreciated. See you hopefully next month.